All right, welcome everyone. This is day one video of the Third Rock Regional where I shot the Rocky Mountain Regional. Uh, let's get started. It was a great weekend and I put together a solid performance. Enjoy. Okay, so stage one for the Rocky Mountain Regional was a warm up. There was three to the body and three to the head. Um, I made a mistake and a few others did as well. Uh, luckily, I was the first shooter. I did not hear that that start stick I, you'll see I step over was actually a fault line. So, uh, you know, I finished the stage, <laughs> burned it down, felt good. I had my mind right. And then uh, a couple shooters later, I get notified that I'm actually earned a PE for that one. So no hard feelings. I just got to pay attention. Uh, and I knew I just needed to, uh, you know, let that be my only mistake for the day. Are you ready? Stand by. All right, after that confusion on the warm up, my first stage of the day was stage six, which was pan standards. It was just a left right transition stage. It was limited round count, 17 rounds, uh, finishing on a steal at 25 yards. So, my approach to standards is always this is these can be match enders, but you're not winning the match on a standard. So, my approach here is just to shoot clean and efficient um, and get all my points. Are you ready? Stand by. Okay, after that, we shot stage seven, hops number nine. Um, and this was when I really took advantage of some of the PCC rules. So the start, uh, I had to shoot two, two, and two, and I loaded my magazine with seven rounds. What this allowed me to do was get my reload done early and then push the rest of the stage as aggressive as possible. Are you ready? Stand by. Okay, the next stage, stage eight, Killer Clowns. This was a stage where PCC could uh, take advantage of some longer shots and stay in the very back and hit basically the entire array from that left-hand side. Now, there was a, the risk there was there was a bunch of non-threats in a really tightly threaded shot with a left lean. So I don't lean left very well due to my uh, leg and back issues. And so I decided I was going to run up. Where I did get into trouble was I had the magazine loaded to 13 rounds, um, and I planned on shooting uh, two of the arrays on the left-hand side and then cleaning up the right and running forward. Well, my brain not being used to PCC 15, as well as the download rules, um, I drop a magazine with bullets in it. So I do get a good recovery here. Uh, my time actually was about on par with anybody that did stay to the back, plus I didn't hit any non-threats. Are you ready? Stand by! Stage nine stud uh, is what I would call a standard disguised with a scenario. Each target got three per here. Um, and you will see where my brain starts to glitch and take too much concern with the non-threats between. Uh, and I just need to say, hey, we need to go aggressive and speed this thing up. So this one was pretty straightforward, nothing much to it. Are you ready? Yeah. Stand by. Okay, next up we had stage 11, which was a highly anticipated stage for the day. This one had some cool options. You could either use that pull cue and activate both the up downs in sequential order uh, at the start, or you could take the safe route and then shoot some side steals to activate uh, the up downs individually. Of course, I'm going to take the risk and activate both. I ended up only dropping one point on the first target. Um, there was a lot more time that I anticipated uh, to hit that up down before transitioning to the left one. So this was a good one. Are you ready? Stand by. <laughs> Finished. Don't let the show clear. Okay, 
stage 12 every which way. This was a pretty straightforward stage. The only thing that I should have done different was controlled the falling of the steel. Um, probably shouldn't have cared about hitting it so much off the start there, uh, just so I could control the timing of the swinger. Other than that, uh, this was an easy stage and just uh, you know, back to front, get it done. Are you ready? Stand by. Stage 13, Brawl at the Mall. This was a trunk start stage uh, and one that I wish I could have back. Uh, a couple things I ran into. The trunk lid got a nice gust of wind right off the start and slammed on the barrel of my gun. So I missed the first presentation of the double drop turner, which also threw off my timing for the non-threat swinger. Other than that, uh, this stage was pretty fun. I always like these uh, more dynamic stages and, uh, and I shot it clean. Are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Ah! Damn it! Okay, after that stage, we headed over to stage two at the top of the match. Ho ho holy crap! This one was really redemption for me for last year's RMR and the Piano Lady stage, where uh, I was the first shooter, first squad of the day, uh, first stage of the day of the Piano Lady last year, and I bombed it. So this year, my approach uh, for a stage like this with a lot of timing, a lot of risk, um, and multiple, multiple ways to shoot it, um, I went for the aggressive but conservative approach where I knew I could get all my points. This was definitely a catastrophe capable stage where you could really just throw your match. So uh, what I went here again was to get all the activators going um, and still shoot that more aggressive plan, um, but still within uh, my capabilities and, and understanding I needed to get down zeros on everything. So I dropped one point here, which was really good. Uh, and I, you know, this really set the tone for the rest of my day. Are you ready? Stand by. If you're finished, I'm going to show clear. It clear slide four. Stage three on bay nine, run up, get done up. This is uh, my least favorite stage of the day because I hate fitting in cars. So uh, one big lesson I learned here, I collapsed the stock on my PCC so that I could get these transitions done uh, efficiently when moving in a small space. Uh, then once I stepped out of the car, I uh, did not realize that the dot moving a few inches closer to my eye was going to cause as much noise as it did. So that caught me off guard uh, for a second. I still shot the stage clean uh, without having to do any extra reloads. So I felt good at it, about it, but a big lesson learned for PCC shooters. Are you ready? Stand by. So clear. Okay, after the car stage, we headed over to stage four and bay 10, no refunds. This stage had two options with steel. You could either activate the right steel and get an alternating look on the clamshells or activate both off the left steel. I didn't really see a need here to, uh, to push the dual activators uh, based on the walkthrough. Um, and then again, one thing I learned here was um, I didn't, I gave the non-threat swinger kind of too much respect um, and I ended up pushing off the transition really quick and I dropped two points on a very easy target. So again, just got to realize what I'm capable of and also, you know, pay attention to the timing of swingers. Otherwise it was a fun stage. Are you ready? Stand by. Finish the load show clear. Yep. Okay, last stage of the day on stage five, Bay 11 Theatrics. This is another one of those stages where PCC had a very clear game plan of staying in the back and shooting further shots that uh, threaded some non threats uh, versus running up and taking more time. So, this one, of course, I took those uh, further shots from the back. It did slow me down a little bit, 
um, you know, realizing that these are about 25 yard shots with non threats on both sides. Otherwise, uh, this was a nice way to end the, the day without too much craziness going on. Party ready. Stand by. As far as results, uh, again, I was very fortunate to pull out first for PCC, both division champion and master. Uh, I only dropped six points for the day um, and had that one PE in there. So, and then as far as the overall, I finished third overall, um, as well as high veteran for the match. So it was a great day and set me up well for the CO state for day two.